Hey there, it's Bobby Legs and welcome to another episode of Bobby Legs Loves Watches. And today, you and I will be taking a look at the Young Hands Chronoscope. I love German watchmaking and for many reasons, some of which are uh, I, the build quality, the artistry, the price point. Uh, there's so many reasons to list. However, some brands showcase a certain type of design that I don't know. And, and that is <laughs> that is the Bauhaus design. And I get it. A lot of people really love that look. It's simple, it's clean, it's typical German. But for me, I find it too clean. I, I find it clinical, uh, too sanitized. I, I need something with a little bit more flair. So when my buddy James reached out to me and said, hey, I have a Young Hands chronoscope, uh, I was like, okay, you know, Young Hands, made in Germany. I've heard good things, good quality, good price point here. Um, Bauhaus design, I don't know, but sure, send it in. Let me take a look at it uh, so I could see it for myself. And then I could definitely make a decision on how I feel about uh, Young Hands and, you know, Bauhaus overall. So did I change my mind? Let's flip the camera and start the review. Okay, let's jump right into the specs of the Young Hands Max Bill Chronoscope. We have a 40 millimeter case diameter, 42.2 millimeter lug to lug, 14.2 millimeter case thickness. Check out that convex hard plexiglass here. Look how it plays with the side of the dial. Very, very cool. You can't really get this aesthetic so much with a sapphire crystal, although they do offer a model like this with a sapphire crystal, but I think it adds nicely to the vintage effect that they're trying to go here. Uh, 20 millimeter lug width, stainless steel case. And again, in recent memory, this is the second review of a watch that the profile reminds me of what the 1950s or 60s interpretation of what a spaceship would look like, a UFO. Short lugs here, uh, but uh, but anyway, uh, anyway, it reminds me of a UFO. Okay, I digress. Uh, screw down case back. Designed by Max Bill, as you can see here, made in Germany. The case back meets the case, not not flush like, but uh, it definitely meets the case for sure. It looks a, a little odd, uh, and then the case reminds me of a of a soup bowl basically, and then you have the dome on top of it. Um, so an interesting curvaceous bulbous look here. Twenty millimeter thick um, Milanese bracelet. Uh, with the safety lock here and the young hands here, adding to the vintage aesthetic. Now you do have a dial here that has a silver matte plated, silver plated matte dial. Um, Bauhaus design, right? I mean, this is very simple looking design, even for a chronograph. The registers of the chronograph at the 12 and the six. Date window at the, the three o'clock position. This is powered by the Caliber J880.2, which is a ETA 7750, power reserve of 48 hours, 28,800 beats per hour, 25 joule, I believe, as well. 30 meter water resistance here, not a screw down crown, uh, but the crown is nicely knurled and big enough to get a nice little feel to it. You pull down one, out one position, you change the date, second position, you change the time. The pushers are even very, very simple and plain, right? They just look like little mushroom, flat mushrooms, right? And you just press it down here to get the chronograph going. Minute dial around, not too much loom going on here. You do have a loom on the hour and the minute hand. A couple of dots here, pips on the 12 o'clock, one on each of the three, six, and five. So it's not gonna be a loom monster. I'll still throw a loom shot here for you. Let's stop this chronograph and have it snap back snaps back pretty pretty accurately to the 12 o'clock position for sure now let's do this on wrist i have a six and three quarter inch wrist and you know the the case size is at a 40 which may scare off a lot of people who are maybe under six and three quarter inch wrists uh, six and a half or even six and a quarter but the lug to lug is 42 and a half. So it's gonna, it's gonna fit 
I think risks as low as small as five and three quarters easily because you do have the short to lug to lug. Now it's still gonna look big because there is no bezel to speak of and it feels like it's all dial, but it still uh, should fit you fine and it's very, very light. Uh, let's take a weight here. Let's get the scale warmed up. And we have 98 grams, so very, very light watch. Now, earlier in the video, I, uh, I mentioned that I was not really into this minimalism, this Bauhaus look. And I gotta say, although I've been very pleasantly surprised about how much I've liked this watch, I'm still really not a buyer here at the for this uh, for this watch. Now, speaking of price, it's uh, it's twenty two hundred, and I believe it's twenty three fifty with a sapphire. But pre owned, it's easily under two thousand dollars. And and when I mean I'm not a buyer, I mean I'm just not a buyer of the whole aesthetic, uh, you know, at all the Bauhaus aesthetic. It's just not for me at this particular point in my collecting. Also, you know. When I think of chronos, I, w I want my chronos to be more tactical looking and rough. Uh, I kind of never really understood a dressy chrono look, uh, and that's just me. But if you are interested interested in a, in a dressy chronograph, you know this watch may be for you. If you're interested in a Bauhaus design chronograph uh, that's going to be light on wrist and has a workhorse movement and an interesting look. Uh, again, this may be something for you, just not for me in this particular point in time. Uh, other than I really have no gripes about it, uh, it's just more of a personal taste. Well, guys, let me know what you think. Is this chrono for you? Do you like Bauhaus style watches? I really would like to hear what you had to say. Please put a comment below and I will see you guys in the next video. If my channel is new to you and you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and click that bell icon to get updates when I upload new videos. I love making these videos and I hope you like them too. And also, if you want to support the channel, please buy me a cup of coffee. The link is in the description. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.